What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to Geek Student today, guys. Welcome back to another app review with Ike. Um, so normally, I've been trying to do my app reviews where like there's a video of me as well, but I actually just saw this on the App Store, so I felt like I really needed to review it. Uh, as you can tell, I was still downloading while I was uh, <laughs> starting to record. But there's a new Crash Bandicoot on the run. A um, as you can see here, it's like a mobile game. Um, I would assume that this is probably pretty similar to, you know, Temple Run, stuff like that, but it looks really cool. So I wanted to hop on here, give a quick review. Um, obviously, I think this just came out. Um, let me see if I can find like the release date. Oh. I'm assuming this just came out, at least from the fact that I've never seen this before and it seems to have just come out. So that's my assumption. Cool, okay, so I was just double checking everything here, but yeah, so it's got a 4.8 already, so I would assume that this probably had some early access, um, and then folks are, you know, opening and downloading it today, or two days ago, it looks like, is when this came out, so um, interesting. So here's what we'll do. It's open, it's ready to go, so let's get this bad boy, bad boy going. Alright, so we have Crash on the Run opening up here. I would not like you to send me notifications, please. I'll accept them, even though I probably just sold my kidneys and liver possibly to whoever King is. Alright. So. We're gonna pause. Settings turn off that i'm sure the music and sound effects are great but just for the purpose of recording uh anytime that there's sound effects or anything like that they're um they tend to <laughs> overshadow my voice unfortunately so all right so then tap to spin cool and then do that jump okay to slide or, you know left right And then obviously you have Golden Aku Aku. That's great. So this is obviously very reminiscent. If you know if folks have never uh, played the old Crash Bandicoot games or anything like that, then you know you're missing out. Um, I have the Crash Bandicoot remakes actually on my Xbox, which is uh, pretty legit. I like it a lot. So this seems like a kind of like a Temple Run esque game or like a. Oh, that's cool. Okay. It's actually really cool, I'll say. This is very interesting. Nitro Ant Drone. All right. So it looks like there's some kind of a boss mode type deal, so that's cool. Aku Aku Invincibility. So if you've never played the Never played the uh, throw a spectrum portal. Well, that was horrible throw. I was assuming if, if you get it like right on the money, maybe there's uh, maybe there's a consequence for not getting it right on the money. I'm not sure. Uh, I just started playing this, so that's actually really cool, guys. Um, got a power gem. I would say they did show me that there was some kind of like a. Um, aspect to this game that it was like kind of not necessarily like it's basically like your typical mobile game like oh you need to build up this oh and i'll have to uh, download this so we're gonna download this and then um i'll be right back with you guys all right so it looks like um we went ahead and got that downloaded and these are my uh my spoils of war from that first little intro level um not really sure what all this does yet but i guess we'll find out here in a second Nitro Scorporilla. Yikes. Scorporilla, she must be working with Cortex. We need to defeat her gang. Because there's these little things here. This is probably the mission, like she said, mission computer. Okay. Fair enough. And then you can battle. So basically, my assumption is that. Oh, oh, turn the sound effects back on. Sorry, folks. Do that again here. Oh, I mean to do that. Actually, while I'm here, um, you can do save progress, report issue, community, privacy, policy, terms of use, just in case you guys are curious where any of that information is while you're playing the game. 
and I assume if I hit this, it'll ask me if I want to go back. So resume, and then we're going to put a little play button here and get us back into the action. Sorry for that brief intermission here. All right. Yes. So, so you got to spin to smash that. So one Aku Aku is just like the normal. Our danger is luckily a spin or slide into them. Okay. Okay. So uh, level one Aku Aku is the normal one. Level two is the golden Aku Aku. And then level three is like where you become invincible um, and you can just run. That's kind of like how it is in the video game if you've never played the video game. And my assumption is that the goal should be to, to collect as many of these apples as possible or whatever they are. They look like apples, so that's what we're going to call them. Because in the game, um, if you collect the apples, typically collecting apples gives you some sort of reward if you collect all of them. So Nitro Crab. Spin for the checkpoint, and then spin for the invincibility Aku Aku. Very cool stuff so far. I'm really enjoying it. Super simple gameplay. Um, I'm sure it gets more difficult as the levels go on. Um, God damn, I'm horrible at that. <laughs> I'm good at the rest of it, I guess, but then again, this is all pretty... Uh, early on in regards to that so all right back to base nitro crab level one so eventually i'll unlock whatever this is this is a bomb filled with unstable liquid nitro so i'm assuming that's some kind of new uh, item eventually that you can gather i leveled up so that means that there are levels in this game and then you get rid of these rewards and then um, this will bring me back in here telling me to fight this other guy. Looks like we need another nitro serum. So we need to click this to go back to the lab, which is that other thing over here. So we're going to do that. And we're going to go to another island. Oh, okay. <clears throat> I don't know if all this is about. So I'm not digging that. Let's see. Oh, that's cool. So, because, like, if you ever played the games, there are different, like, not necessarily different characters, but different versions of um, Crash. You know, that's going to make me play a skunk. Okay, okay. Also, I'm not digging that it's a keep, keep turning the sound back on. Like, don't get me wrong. Like, I mean, the sound effects are great, I'm sure, but I don't want the sound effects on, guys. I collected glow bark. Was it just the ingredient? You keep smashing crates to gather more. Okay. So then this is kind of interesting. So you need um, resources to uh, be able to fight bosses. Um, and then those resources have to be gathered by going through runs, which is interesting. Um, definitely different from the traditional, uh, you know, Crash Bandicoot, where basically it's just a platformer. Um, so this definitely opens up a little bit of an interesting, um, interesting objective. And it also looks like there's not necessarily a way to collect all apples. So you kind of have to choose your path depending on what you prefer to do. Because there were two different paths and there's not really a way for me to go both ways. Um, it's time to come back to base. Big Brother, take the left exit. Okay. So in theory, you could take the other exit and just continue to run and collect resources, which is what my assumption is. Um, perhaps the difficulty gets more, you know, harder and harder or whatever the case is, but obviously in this case I have to go back to base because I'm being requested to do so. <laughs> I'm being requested to do so under duress. Um, so the summary is that this run total 446, 1650, all right, I got some stuff to collect. And now we're going to go over here. So basically, in order to fight the bosses, you have to have the Nitro Portal Serum, or I'm sure that eventually um, we'll have to do make other types of serums, depending on different areas. And then we have to go in and battle. And then... Uh, oh my god, it keeps the damn sound on. Alright, we're going to do run. So, basically, I love the game, but I hate that it keeps turning the fucking sound on. Jesus. Again, I'm sure the sound effects are amazing. The sound effects during the uh, Crash Bandicoot games are honestly iconic. Um, the different musics and everything else. 
are really awesome. It's just not really digging that right now because I got to do other stuff. <laughs> All right. Oh, that was cool. It was like a little underground area. Game super intuitive. No delayed reactions. I know the old um, Temple Run used to be pretty buggy at times. Um, and it looks like you don't even necessarily have to jump on those little mushrooms. It looks like maybe you can just run into them and it'll launch you. Uh, don't quote me on that. But I, I, feel, I felt like I kind of missed it a little bit. So, I don't know. I felt like I kind of like missed time that. So, I was kind of worried I wasn't going to make it. But we're good, I guess. Um, and it does seem that the difficulty is getting a little bit more difficult because some of these are a little faster moving, some of these orbs. Um, but I mean, truthfully, it doesn't seem to be really that difficult. Ah, look at that. I got a little bit better. I got a little bit closer to the middle. It's like those old carnival, like those old uh, arcade games where you have to like balance the bricks on one another or you have to press the button to stack something. Pretty cool. So we're warping back to base. Nitrant level one, three out of four. Boom, boom, boom. Continuum. So I need nitro serum. Aku Aku quests. So there's like a quest system going here. And it's going to make me speed it up. Collect. Go back. Okay. So, from what I can tell, there's also a time system of some sort. And the damn sound is back on again. But there is a time uh, passing uh, concept where you have to allow so much time to pass in order to use the, um, to create serums. So, I mean, not to say that that's problematic, but that definitely, um, spend the smash the, it'll explode any nitro nearby. Okay, cool. But I definitely can see that being problematic because what it's doing is it's going to incentivize you to buy. Um, it's going to incentivize you to to buy those gems, those crystals, because in the original Smash Bandicoot, Crash Bandicoot, not Smash, <laughs> in the original Crash Bandicoot game, um, basically you collected those crystals with the intention of, um, I mean, long story short, passing through the levels and eventually getting to a higher score and everything else. So in this game, those purple crystals are instead used as a method in which to purchase things, either purchasing potions or purchasing um, uh, upgrades for speed or whatever the case may be. So pretty standard for mobile game for a free mobile game is that they have to have some kind of a pay to play concept. Um, see that it's a little bit more difficult because I wasn't expecting that to be so large. Because you really have to be careful there. Oh, I got almost got close. So there is a pay-to-play aspect of this game. Don't get me wrong; it's still a free game. It still seems to be pretty fun, but it does seem that there are, there is a somewhat of a pay-to-play concept um, being implemented here. All right, so I unlocked that. Whatever that is, go to Aku Aku Quests. I can claim. Cool. I do like the fact that there are quests, so we have to go here. Repair. Okay, so basically, what I what I gathered was something that I can use to repair that, so I can create nitro bombs. Which I'm assuming that the nitro bomb is what's going to be need to be used to. Yeah, so I'm going to have to use the nitro bomb to fight um, the main boss. So you have to have the nitro potions to fight the side bosses, and the nitro bomb to fight the main boss. So basically, you're having to create, you're having to, to basically create energy in a way, because a lot of um, the boom berry help us. Okay, cool. Anyways, so like in a lot of uh, free mobile games, um, you have to. I mean, for lack of a better phrase, you're required to use energy as a, as a method in which to, um, basically in order to progress, you have to use energy to, you know, basically do anything for, I mean, I, I'm trying to think of like a game, like a mobile game where it uses energy. Um, but there's like a lot of like, um, tower, not tower. And there are some tower defense games that do have a similar concept to that. 
Um, but like, for instance, Farmville is like a, <laughs> that's like, obviously that's an old person game, I guess. Um, but, well, it's close. <laughs> but for instance, like Farmville, you have to have energy to do certain things. Um, there are a couple games. I don't think I've ever played a game on here that requires energy per se. Um, uh, well, I take that back. I've played, uh, Mr. Auto Fire, which does have an energy concept. So the energy concept in this game isn't as much a, of an energy concept as it is a, you know, you have to create these resources and in order to create these resources, it can take time to create them basically. This is interesting because this is like a boss battle, but it's pretty, I mean, it's pretty intuitive. I mean, it's nothing crazy. And then you have to use that to ultimately defeat him. But I mean, it's pretty straightforward. Honestly, it kind of reminds me of like the Cuphead run that they had, like that um, that kind of like Cuphead version of, you know, tar like running around and shit. Um, so yeah, so you guys basically just watch me do all of this, which is, I mean, it's really cool so far. I really enjoy it. Um, I would definitely play this, so I'll probably continue to play this. And then as you can see here, I unlocked a new villain. So when, oh, and I leveled up, hey, hey, got some rewards, hell yeah. I'm good. I'm not going to rage quite yet. Coco unlocked. Cool. Detecting your trip. Cool. See that? So then you have a new guy. Um, and then you can beat the gang. And then there's new Aku Aku quests. Collect. Very interesting. All right. So we're going to pause it right there, folks. I'm going to um, go back over here to the app store. Just kind of go through the skin. So honestly interesting i like it very cool concept I'm sure the sound effects are great my one my one thing would be that every time you start a run it forces you to play with the sound um obviously i don't know if that's just a glitch or whatever it is but it's kind of annoying so i don't really care for that too much but overall the game is still really fun um it's very intuitive no real there's no real lag or you know pause or anything to you know any of the motions that you're doing any of the spin or jump or slide motions basically as soon as you tap it or if you move it or swipe it it responds pretty much immediately because i know with older games with this similar you know platform slash model some of the um move motions were a little slow or sluggish and that slower sluggish motion would sometimes cause you to get killed in the game so crash bandicoot on the run positive uh feedback so far i would give it a four point four four out of five um, obviously I've not played it all, a whole lot yet, so I really can't give you a true rating until I've played it a little bit more because I do want to see some other, uh, what other concepts there are. Um, I, I think it's a lot of fun, but it could get a little monotonous if the only thing that you're doing is the same over and over motions. So I'll kind of let you guys know maybe later, uh, in a later video, if, you know, basically how things went with this run, if I enjoyed doing it and so on and so forth. So, but for right now, we're going to give it a four to five because it was, pretty entertaining i mean for a free mobile app what can i mean you can't complain about that so um if you guys enjoyed this go ahead and try the app out download it or if you've already played it let me know in the comment section down below or go play it and let me know what you think um and of course as always if you're wanting to join the geeks do crew let us know in the comment section down below hit us up on social media that's in the description and at the end of the video and as always folks stay happy stay healthy stay safe stay awesome and we will see you in the next one see ya Thank you.